Hi and welcome back to today's Well Spent. In today's video, Scott and I are going to show you the steps we took to run electricity to our new greenhouse. So the first thing we did is uh, obviously hand dug a pretty good sized deep trench all the way out to the greenhouse. The trench comes all the way inside of the greenhouse and then I mounted a uh, electrical box on the on the rail. Now what I really like about this greenhouse is they uh, they gave you extra screws and these are special special manufactured screws that go inside of the rail so I was able to come back down to the bottom add two more screws slide them up and mount my uh, electrical box on the rail so it's a great option so the other thing I had to do was I had to take the uh, the uh, stepping stones out and I had to drill a hole because our PVC has got to go through the hole and into our trench for our, for our, uh, feed for our electrical we got electrical cable this is outdoor rated it's 14 gauge uh, you're going to need to know something about electricity to know which gauge wire to use and uh, I'll refer you to your electrician for that you're also going to have to be able to find a circuit that's available so that you don't um, over amp that circuit if you're going to add electrical outlets to it um, we have a GFCI outlet for the outside one because we're adding one just so we have electricity into our backyard you need some uh, connectors and couplings and uh, some 90 degree these are the ones that are going to come out of the trench into the bottom of our um, electrical box okay we got a couple covers this is uh, one Margaret wanted for in there so she could just basically open it with her hand plug it in and it snaps back shut and then we have a different cover for the outdoor uh, that the whole front swings open I'm not going to show you that until later also with the uh, connectors that go into the bottom of the uh, electrical boxes i've already put some teflon tape that's just to help moisture seal them some more and uh, then we're going to we're going to put these on and of course we have long pieces of pvc to uh to, to run for our trench okay so what i did on the inside of the greenhouse is uh we got our coupling this is where the pvc is going to come in from the ground uh, i just wanted to show you show you putting it on And then since we're not going to use the top hole, we're just going to go ahead and uh, cover the top hole. All right, now when we put our box on, this is our, this is actually our garage wall. So we drilled through the wall and then we put a coupler there and we still have to seal it from the inside with some uh, silicone so that we don't get any water that gets into the wall. So Scott slid that stone back under that we had removed to drill the hole in to run the pipe. All right, so we got our pipe in. We'll show you how that's going to work here in just a minute. Get our get our glue on our our PVC. go you guys can see we taped off the bottom of the pipe coming out of the stone to prevent any dirt from getting in it okay so once we got the pipe in we loosened this right, right put it down on top of it with some glue and now we can tighten it to the rail there we go and now we're ready to put the uh, complete the PVC to the uh, the house I also wanted to mention if I didn't mention before make sure you use um, outdoor rated PVC Scott's putting the PVC glue on the pipe So we've got all of the piping laid now. Give you guys a quick overview. And at this point, I think we're ready to start running the cable. 
All right, Margaret's pushing the cable in at the other end, and I'm pulling here. All right, there it is. All right, everybody, so that was it. Um, got the electrical uh, outlet on, got the uh, outlets wired. Um, like I said, you need to have some electrical experience or have an electrician come out and do that. That's why I didn't show it. And uh, there's our, where our uh, conduit with the electrical goes into the ground. And coming inside, there's our outlet inside of our greenhouse and the uh, pipe coming out of the ground. So overall, it's really not that hard. So as you can see, I've got a fan running in the greenhouse. That's one of the great things about having electricity in here now. So I have a way to circulate the air better. We could also run a heater in the cooler times of the year and also lighting if we wanted to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And for more urban homesteading ideas, visit us over at dayswellspent.com.